everyone, how's it going? It's That Nerd Ryan here, and welcome to the one-shot toy review of Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider. This is the last of the Spider-Man's MCU suits that we have to review. Uh, I'm happy to wrap it up, and I'm sad that we have to wrap it up on probably the worst one. Why I say it's the worst is usually Spider-Man figures come with extra hands, uh, great posability, and everything. This one doesn't even come with the backpack that it's supposed to come with. This is the generic one that came for, uh, I believe it was Obsidian Coal, um, Build-A-Figure Wave. I don't know, it's been a long time. But yeah, it was one of those Build-A-Figures, uh, so it had no accessories at all, which was kind of sad, considering that Spider-Man figures were always something I looked forward to. This one does come in at 6 inches tall, which is how it should be, because... That's how they are, uh, and yeah. So for a quick 360 here, that's what he looks like. I will say the paint job on this is just amazing. The gold really enhances it, and it does kind of look like a nanotech suit over like a cloth suit. Um, but yeah, so this doesn't come with accessories. You only get the thwip hands, which kind of stink. Um, but the sculpt is the generic Spider-Man sculpt. So, head can rotate 360, go up and down, kind of side to side. He's got the uh, butterfly joints for the shoulder, and then he can also move like so, and like so, uh, kind of moving it up. He does have the bicep swivel, elbow joints, hand swivel, and hand joints. Um, he can crunch and twist, legs can go like so, there is a thigh swivel here, knees can bend on a triple joint, and remember how every other Spider-Man had a shin swivel? This one does not. His feet do move though, and they do feel stiff, I remember first getting this figure and it feeling stiff then too, um, I don't know if it was supposed to be like that, but... Yeah, it's kind of a disappointing suit, especially like considering everything else that came out before and after being better. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to give this one... Oh, um, it's on Amazon right now for $45, which makes sense, especially since there's a better one out there that's in a three-pack or a two-pack or something that has the legs and looks like it, or the extra legs and just looks a lot better too. Um, I don't even recommend spending that much money on it, though, because it's honestly kind of a dumpy figure. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's That Nerd Ryan, signing off.